As we continue our quest to learn more about Willow Glen, their environmentally friendly methods, their sustainable building practices, and their conservation, we have the opportunity to meet with Kevin Keedy, who's a science teacher at Hacienda Elementary School, which is an environmental science magnet school. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you. You know, what makes Hacienda Magnet School, and, and how long has it been here? Um, Hacienda uh, is different from most neighborhood schools in that we actually pull students from all over San Jose Unified School District. Um, we're actually the product of a, a lawsuit that happened to help encourage San Jose Unified to do a better job of desegregating different parts. And so um, every year we go out to different parts of the district and make sure that parents are aware that um, they have another choice besides just their neighborhood school to actually send their kids here to Hacienda where they have an enriched science um, education. That's great. So uh, instead of normal schools which pull from a geographic area, you have a much wider area that you can pull from. Is there a waiting list for Hacienda? Yeah, we have the longest waiting list of any school in San Jose Unified School District. It's a highly competitive process, um, but a lot of kids that are, are served that wouldn't otherwise be. Can you give some examples of how your students interact with the environment? Yeah, we have um, some really special opportunities. Really the jewel of Hacienda is that 38 years ago, some teachers got a great idea to plant native plant communities in our one acre outdoor classroom. So students during good weather have the great opportunity to go outside and to go observe nature in action, see what kinds of animals are attracted here and um, the different patterns and cycles of life so that they develop a, an intimate connection with that process in nature. The outdoor classroom sounds like a great place. Is it available just to students? Um, no, there are a couple different times each year that the public is able to come and visit as well. This year, our um, Earth Day celebration that the public's invited to is on April 9th, and uh, they can see student performances of some of the different things that they've learned about the environment and the importance. And then also this year on April 19th, um, we have our Going Native Garden Tour that we're a part of, and again, the opportunity is there for the public to come visit and see different native plants to this area. Regarding the green vision, we recently had the opportunity to meet with Pierre Luigi Oliverio. What are some of the ways the students at Hacienda support San Jose's green vision? Um, this year we're really focusing on what we're calling kid conscious recycling. Um, we want the kids to regularly engage in conscious decision making around what to do with their snack and lunches when they're done and not just throw it in the trash. So really looking at, is this something that's recyclable in San Jose? Or is it something that we can add to our worm and compost bin? Or does it in fact have to go into the trash? And we realize that kids won't make the right decision 100% of the time, but really that we want to get them in the habit of thinking instead of just throwing it out. So that's one of the big goals for San Jose is to, to try to get everything to end up being reusable or recyclable in some ways. I understand that the Hacienda students are involved with Pioneer High School in monitoring the Guadalupe River. Can you tell me more about that? Um, it's really a unique partnership. The Children's Discovery Museum um, has a coordinator that works with Pioneer teachers to um, teach visiting elementary students about the process of monitoring the Guadalupe Creek that runs right by there so that kids can really understand that what people do upstream actually affects everyone that's downstream of them and they get to see the direct results. I noticed that you have a solar array out by the garden beds. What are you using that for? We're very fortunate that PG&E um, has chosen us as one of their solar schools and so this new solar array was just installed so that um, Hacienda students and actually any student can go online, find out how many kilowatts of energy is being produced from our solar array panel and uh, compare it to a number of other schools all around Central California and kind of come up with their own experiments. Kevin, uh, in closing, what advice do you have for students who want to participate in making the environment a better place? Um, I would just tell students to go ahead and follow whatever your 
passion or idea is. We really need a lot of different creative thinking around ways to solve problems that have been created for the environment. So whether it's just recycling better in your own home or doing a beach cleanup or whatever your passion is, to so just go for it, try it. Great. Kevin, thank you for sharing uh, Hacienda School with us. We really appreciate your time on Willow Glen Emotion. Thank you very much for visiting us. <laughs> and school's out. <laughs> <laughs>